Part 2 of the Kruta Fieldport covers the final two kilometers. If you intend driving this pass, it's important to watch Part 1 first, which contains the Google Earth orientation clips, as well as other safety, tourism and historical information. In 2012, the Scientific Services Division of the Eastern Cape Parks and Tourism Agency began a series of surveys to determine the distribution of Hewitt's Coast Frog in the Bavillonskloof Cluster. This frog is part of an ancient family, Heliophrenidia, which is a Gondwanan relic with its closest relatives in Australia and South America. Hewitt's Coast Frog is one of the most restricted distributions of any Southern African amphibian. It's only known to occur on forestry land in the Elandsberg near Coxcomb in the Groot Vinterhoek Mountains and likely also in the Bavijanskloof Mountains. Once you've cleared this port, you'll still have another 38 kilometers of driving before reaching Potensi. Just before the road enters Potensi, there's some cuttings on the left-hand side of the road where you'll see exposed Enon conglomerate rock formations which consist of pebbles in a sandy matrix. About 140 million years ago, the Cape Mountains were roughly three times higher than today. A period of high rainfall then eroded them and the Enon conglomerate was the result. Much of the Hamtuas Valley is composed of this. Along these cuttings is a rock formation known as Queen Victoria's Bust. This can only be seen when travelling from west to east. Another worthwhile detour is to turn right off the R332 after clearing the port and enjoy a tour of the tall arched wall of the Kocha Dam which was built in the 1970s and has become key to the success of the citrus industry in the Khamtuas Valley. Citrus farming is sensitive to water quality and the rivers of the Bavijans and Kocha Mountains are vitally important in delivering high quality water to the dam. The dam was previously known as the Paul Sauer Dam. Towards the end of the port you'll arrive at the official parksport campsites known as Komdomo. The facilities are excellent here and it's a popular first or last night stopover depending on your direction of travel. You now have another 38 kilometers to drive to reach the town of Potensi where you can buy most foodstuffs as well as refuel your vehicle.